Hi, this is Pastor Craig, and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Ask Pastor Craig. Thank you for joining me this evening. My question this evening is this. What do you think about the movie Noah? Uh, that's an interesting question, and I appreciate it. You know, honestly, I haven't seen the movie. Uh, I probably will, uh, and we'll see what I think about it then. But, you know, I don't have a lot of thoughts about it. I don't have a lot of concerns about it. Uh, in fact, the director um, stated pretty much up front that it wasn't a biblical interpretation of the life of Noah. So I, I probably don't see a lot of reason to be upset about it. I wish that um, probably that Hollywood would stay away from the Bible, maybe. But, uh, you know, Veggie Tales uh, did something on the life of Jonah where he was a, a talking cucumber and the Ninevites slapped people in the face with fishes. That's probably not very biblical either, <laughs> but uh, I, I do understand the concern. But you know what? Honestly, guys, if we're going to be upset about something, there's a lot of serious things to be upset about. You know, all over the world today, there are people that are really suffering true injustices. There's human sex trafficking where 8 and 9 and 10 year olds are sold into human sex slavery and that's where they spend uh, the rest of their lives and it's not a very long life and it's not a very uh, pretty life in fact it's uh, it's really torturous there are people that are burned alive for their faith they are slaughtered for their faith there are people that are hungry here in our own country there are people that are suicidal there are abused children there are broken homes and, and lives that are torn apart by drug abuse and alcoholism. There's so many things to be upset about in our world today. True injustices that the church really needs to respond to. Um, I don't see us um, really, you know, spending a lot of energy, a lot of vocal power, and um, a lot of time being offended over Hollywood's version of, uh, of Noah's life, particularly whenever they said it's just an adaptation and it's not a biblical interpretation. So do I like it? Probably not crazy about it. Um, it creates confusion, but in the realm of things to be concerned and upset about, it's pretty low on my list. Um, the things that are high on my list are people that are really suffering, people that are really hurting. And the true cause of Christ, which is to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every living creature. You know, I think whenever we get that aspect of our faith down pat, where we really are witnessing to people, and we really are changing people's lives with the love of Jesus Christ, and we're really affecting our communities, you know, um, maybe then we can get upset about these kinds of things. But you know, the same people that um, that are just absolutely offended by this go and see all kinds of R-rated movies and, and Twilight and you know all the other stuff that's out there. I don't really care. And, and so um, it's a little bit of hypocrisy probably involved in some of that. So I, I just think there's better things to be upset about than a movie. Do I like the movie? Do I do I appreciate somebody taking the Bible and then misinterpret it and, and misinterpreting it, even whenever they're upfront about it? No, I, I really don't like that. But um, I think there's more important things for us as Christians to really be upset about things that are really affecting people's lives and things that are really hurting people in the now and um, also for eternity. So I think that's where our focus should be. And, uh, you know, this is more opinion-based, probably, the answer to this question. Uh, but those are my thoughts on it. Um, you know, true religion, Jesus said, is, uh, is helping those in need, um, helping the fatherless, helping the widows, um, people that are really, you know, hurting and need a helping hand. That is where our passion is supposed to lie. And um, so that's my quick take on it. Uh, maybe after I see the movie, I'll, I'll, I'll be offended and irate, and I'll have a different, uh, a different answer, but that's where I stand right now. God bless you for listening this evening. I really appreciate it. If you have a question about th additional questions about this question or something completely unrelated, you can reach us in one of three ways. First is um, on this radio program's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash ROR Ministries. Uh, the second way is my church's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash 
Heartland Christian Center, and finally at my personal Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Pastor Craig online. God bless you for listening this evening. Amen.